definitely going to uh, take a turn for the colder as we head towards the weekend. Today, though, gorgeous out there. And as we take a look from Mount Washington into the Golden Triangle, a very nice day. Very comfortable afternoon, especially with these temperatures. We're still in the 60s, and Butler at 61, Washington 61 degrees, Morgantown 64, and we're in the upper 50s in Indiana at Greensburg at 59 degrees. But we do have big changes on the way. 63 currently, downtown, relative humidity at 34%, wind south southwest at 11 miles per hour. The high temperature today, 63 degrees. That is exactly where we would expect at this time of year. And a low temperature also very close to where we would expect that average to be. But we do have a cold front that's moving in. Cold front is ushering in these showers here that will move in overnight from the northwest down towards the southeast as we head overnight. So do expect showers tonight into tomorrow. Get a little bit of a break in the middle part of Friday. And then later on Friday, again, we'll have another disturbance that'll wrap around and that will bring us more rain into the area. So here is Friday at 4 p.m. This is that second round of rain that will be moving in. You can see most locations will have a chance for rain, but Pittsburgh up to the north, you'll have the best chance of seeing the wet weather moving into your location. And then we take it into Saturday. And again, we're going to have that moisture coming off the Great Lakes, and that will give us another shot at seeing some uh, showers, possibly even some snowflakes as we head through the day on Saturday. So here's how it looks. Uh, Friday at 1 o'clock in the morning, just past midnight tonight, you can see the heavier rain that's uh, moving in with that cold front. We take it to 8 o'clock in the morning, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Any moisture is north of I 80. And towards the middle part of the day, we're also in pretty good shape. Any light showers we see, most of that will be north of I 80. Everybody else looking at partly cloudy skies. But as we go later on Friday, you can see those showers begin to pick up, those pockets of heavy rain begin to move in. And then we have a second cold front that will be moving in, and that'll bring in enough cold air. By the time we get to a Saturday morning, you can see a little bit of snow mixing in with that rain. So then we go through the day on Saturday, again from Pittsburgh north and east, a chance for seeing some rain showers moving in, maybe some snowflakes mixing in. But it's really Sunday morning when our coldest air starts to arrive. That's when we'll have that best chance for rain. And up along Dubois and north of I 80 in these areas, you could actually see some snow on the grassy areas. Otherwise, everybody from Pittsburgh up to the north over the weekend on Sunday morning, at best, you're looking at a snowflake or a snowflake mixing in with rain showers uh, with only some minor accumulation up towards the north and you can see as we head through Sunday in the early morning hours we will have a chance of that snow north of the area and again a chance for some rain on Sunday. So 44 degrees for your low temperature tomorrow morning as we head through the day 59 for your high mostly cloudy with those scattered showers later in the day and early in the day. On Saturday this is when the cold air comes in for the weekend a high of 48 Saturday and Sunday but it's the low temperatures we'll really be paying attention to. Definitely going to be cold on Saturday morning, 36 degrees, 32 on Sunday morning, down to 30 on Monday morning. And as we take a look at our four degree guarantee, we're expecting a high temperature tomorrow of 59 degrees.